Hi there, this is Kawania Wooten with Howerton Wooten Events. And today we're going to talk about freezing the top tier of your wedding cake. First and foremost, you're going to ask your baker for a box to hold the top tier of your wedding cake. That's going to start the process off for you. Uh, if you're going on your honeymoon right after your wedding, then you should designate a friend or a family member to cake sit and or freeze the cake for you. You don't want it to wait too long. So the first step is you want to make sure you have all of your supplies, your plastic wrap, the aluminum foil and your um, the airtight container and possibly a little tape. And then so what you're going to do is place the cake tier unwrapped in the freezer for 30 minutes to a couple of hours to solidify the frosting. The timing depends on the type of frosting you have on your cake. Be mindful of the other foods in your freezer. You don't want your frosting tasting like fish before you freeze it. After a couple of hours and once the frosting is a little solid, take out the cake and wrap it in a few layers of plastic wrap. The goal is to prevent air from touching the cake over the next year. And make sure you don't have any air pockets. After you wrap the cake in plastic, wrap the cake in aluminum foil. I recommend two layers. Then place the cake, the wrap cake, in an airtight container, uh, like um, Tupperware or Gladware or something, and store the cake in the back of your freezer until your wedding anniversary. Never take, you know, never take for granted that this top is on tight. Make sure you hear that seal that you hear all of these manufacturers talking about because you want to make it nice and tight. Then never, never take your cake out of the freezer because it can affect the cake's moisture levels. If you don't have any good freezer real estate, ask a friend if they'll store your cake for the next year. Somebody who has a nice big freezer. All right, and then when you get to your first anniversary, remove the cake from the storage container and allow it to thaw in your refrigerator for 48 hours. Again, make sure nothing is in your fridge. You don't want the smell of your chicken or something to affect the taste of your cake. Then allow the cake to sit at room temperature for another two to three hours. Here's a tip. To ensure that you remember the thawing instructions, save these instructions on your phone for four days before your anniversary and it will be an appointment and it will tell you what to do so you get your cake out in time before your anniversary and then it's done enjoy your cake we would like to thank first and foremost tony richards photography for the first picture on the cake and the cakery for making us this wonderful top tier it was good